Right, drawing an octagon, it says an octagon with a height of 60 millimeters. So the first thing that you're going to do is to draw a construction line with a length of 60 millimeters. I've just drawn from there to there, so I've got my 60 millimeters. You'll note that I've got my two set squares lined up with each other. This set square is in line with the line, and if I slide that back, you'll see that this edge over here is now parallel with that line. Now what you're going to do is you're going to hold the set square down and you are going to move the set square up over here and you're going to draw a line 90 degrees to that. You're going to slide it across and you're going to draw a line 90 degrees up from that. Why? Because this set square has a 90 degree and because that edge over there is now parallel to that edge it means that the lines coming off there are going to be at 90 degrees. Right, once you've done that, you can now take this set square over here, line it up with that base, place this against that edge over there, and slide this down, giving me another line that is parallel to that line over there. And I'll take my 45 degree set square over here, I slide that across, and I'm able to draw a 45 degree line going up there and a 45 degree line going up there and that will give me equal length sides which I'm just going to show you with this pair of dividers see my 60 over there if I go up there you'll see that that's also 60 if I come across here that's also 60 at the end of the day what have I got there I've now drawn myself a perfect square. Once I've done that, I can now take my pair of compasses. I place it at the corner of the square and I extend it out to the midpoint of that square. And I draw an arc. My compass just died on me there. And I go to this corner over here, and I draw another arc. I go to that corner over there, drawing an arc there, and finally drawing an arc over there. If you've drawn accurately, all of those arcs will go exactly through the middle. And once you've done that, you can then draw lines going to those points over there, getting you a perfect octagon.